So man, we're here at the Dignity Health uh, press conference announcing our partnership with Dignity and Miracle Mutts. And for me, man, this is a really, really big deal. This whole organization started essentially at Memorial Hospital. You know, I got diagnosed with end-stage liver disease. I was given less than 90 days to live at Memorial Hospital, of which Dignity owns. This is a really big moment for us. Um, in terms of our Miracle Mutts program, we've always known the value of Miracle Mutts and what it can do for people who are going through challenging times, what it can do for the staff of an institution like this, what it can do for the patients. And we've been dreaming for something like this. Ever since we formed Miracle Mutts you know, more than 10 years ago, this has been on our radar. So to have it be accomplished feels somewhat surreal and we just need to send all the love in the world to the Dignity staff for welcoming us and to Tori for pulling this off. This is a really full circle special moment that definitely gets a chapter in the autobiography. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to the Friends of Mercy Foundation. I want to welcome you all to this positively fantastic day to announce that Dignity Health will be partnering with Marley's Mutz to expand our staff of doctors from two to over a dozen. You know, I've seen extraordinary impact of having a therapy dog present in the hospital, but that's not just anecdotal. We have randomized controlled trials to show the benefits to both patient and staff having them here. And I can't think of a better partner than Marley's Mutz whose motto, all breeds, all creeds, is the extension really of hello human kindness to our furry friends. I can't agree more with Tony. I think this is such an important collaboration. And we talk about our patients and how much care we give our patients, but we forget about the staff. And I think bringing these furry friends into our hospitals, into the walls of our hospitals, is really gonna help boost our staff morale. And I can see everyone that's been out today just walking by and seeing these, these furry friends of ours, everyone has a smile on their face. So I think an important partnership, but I think it's gonna be a very good partnership for not only our staff, but for our patients as well. The importance of the healing environment for patients as well as for our caregivers is extremely, extremely important. What the pups have the ability to do is instantly, when they walk in a room or when a patient sees them, very, very instantly have that patient moved off of their focus to say something to the pup. It helps to set the stage so that the patient can continue to heal and have some joy, some fun, and some laughter for just a little bit. One of the things that the dogs have the ability to do is to touch that emotion within a patient, which further advances the healing. And so we're extremely, extremely humbled honored and very, I'll say, joyful to join this partnership with Marley Mutz. Our Miracle Mutz division was developed in 2012 through Marley's Mutz to help serve our outreach community here in Kern County. Since then, we have helped thousands of individuals and through this partnership with Dignity Health, we're gonna be able to touch even more lives. While it does look like our dogs have a very cushy job, which it is, um, it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of training that these dogs have to go through. They have to have an extremely specific temperament, and for our entrance and testing, they have to be able to pass the AKC's Canine Good Citizens Test, which combines behavioral, obedience, um, and specific training to be able to come in. They have to be in their adoptive homes for at least six months, so all of these guys aren't up for adoption. Um, but they also have to um, be good with dogs of various sizes. They must be good with strange equipment like wheelchairs, walkers, um, strange noises, um, uniforms, and they can't be easily stressed by large crowds. There's places where we go to where it's well over a thousand people, and it's so important to us that our dogs are not just tolerating their job, but that they truly love it. From there, they have to work and do 50 visits at various therapy events to earn that certification. So this is something that takes quite a long time and is a big commitment from our dogs. But our focus, like uh, Tony had mentioned, is all breeds, all creeds. So we have dogs from all walks of life, but the majority of our dogs are rescue dogs from our community. All of these dogs have experienced hardship in their life um, and in moments that they could have shut down or hated humans, but instead they chose to forgive and choose kindness, which is so incredibly important. So when Dignity reached out for this partnership, it was a no-brainer. Our, our models are so similar and our mission is so similar that that's something that we needed to expand on in the community. So now, not only a hospital visit can heal your body, it can heal your soul. I'd like to tell a quick story. The first day I came to Dignity and we, we got to do a walkthrough 
and we met one of the nurses that was having an especially challenging day and stressful day. And she saw Sully and came down to his level and just held his chin in her hand and placed her head on his forehead. And they stood like that for quite some time. But in that moment, he knew exactly what she needed, and that was that peaceful energy. And she, she mentioned that that was just the light of the day. It just breaks up that stress um, that is so much that we're experiencing now. And something as simple as spending time with our dogs can help start to heal that wound. Tori, I'm extremely proud of you. Thank you for sticking with Miracle Mutt and taking it to the heights that we knew it could achieve. This is a special type of medicine these kiddos can provide. And um, we're really looking forward to get to do that at, at the, the greatest scale possible in our community. To all of the hospital staff, to all of you guys, you know, I spent a lot of time in hospitals during this uh, pandemic, and I felt for you guys. That was probably the most hopeless feeling I had was spending time at the Heart Hospital, spending time at Memorial, spending time at KMC and here at Mercy, and watching how hard you guys worked and watching the devastation you dealt with on a regular basis and not being able to help, not being able to kind of do much else than say thank you, but thank you guys. My journey into animal welfare and rescue started in 2008 when I was diagnosed with end-stage liver disease. I was given less than 90 days to live and I was admitted for long-term care at Bakersfield Memorial Hospital. I needed a liver transplant, period. That was what my doctor said is, you need a liver transplant and you're not gonna get one. I stayed at, at Memorial for almost six weeks, dying of liver and kidney failure. What you guys put up with, um, what you guys helped me get through, it was the most important period of my life. I, I probably wouldn't be here standing here talking to you guys had I not received the level of care that I did at Memorial. Another one of our mottos is rescue dogs rescuing people. And that is what happened with me. When I got out of the hospital, I endeavored to, to begin Marley's Mutts. It wasn't something we planned on. It was just something that happened as I started to work with shelter dogs in my community. One thing led to another. And by the time I had accrued six months of sobriety, I no longer needed a liver transplant and essentially Marley's Mutts was born. And we really at that moment started to try to use the, the, the human animal bond to benefit people. Even before we were organized as a, as a true nonprofit organization, we started to try and serve the community. And serving the community is only possible if you have partners. And partnering with Dignity is a grand slam for our community. This is a grand slam for us as an organization. Uh, and I'm telling you that the power of the human animal bond to help you get through what you're getting through, especially in a setting like this. You're going through a life or death situation in a hospital, you need any amount of positivity that you can find. I was struggling through every moment that I was hospitalized. And to see these dogs, to see how they can take a person from a low level of, of, of spirituality and really uplift you into a, into a new frame of mind is, uh, is just extremely powerful. I feel very grateful to be a part of it. I just wanted to thank all of you guys for the warmth that you've extended to us. Both of my children were born here at Mercy Southwest. Um, my second daughter was actually born in the parking lot. But really, this is, a, this is a foundational day for our organization. Anybody out there watching, connected to any of these cameras, can be part of Miracle Months. You can take your dog and become part of this program um, by investing yourself uh, with a little bit of time and effort and really fundamentally change the lives of people who are going through a challenging time. Uh, we've only begun to scratch the surface of what the human animal bond is capable of and I'm really excited to see where we can take that because the hospital setting doesn't have to be this rigid uh, setting whereby you know it's just treatment and you're going in and out for your treatments. We can really bring these furry love balls, this, this powerful medicine that dogs exude. We can bring that into the hospital setting and really change folks' state of mind. And uh, to be able to provide a service to nursing staff, to doctors, to anybody that's working within this facility, and to help offset some of the struggles that you guys go through every day, there's just nothing more valuable than that. I think to be able to provide unconditional love and a true sense of positivity when you're going through something so negative, and to help uplift those who are responsible for helping us get through our difficult times, there's no better thing to be a part of. So this is golden for us in every single way, and I just can't wait to get started. And I'm endlessly grateful to Dignity for, for really, not just in this case, but for, for grasping a hold of Kern County and really doing everything you guys can to make our community better. I've, and I feel very proud to be a part of it. So thank you guys for, for welcoming us into your family. Thank you guys for trusting us. And um, let's see where we can take this. I'm really, really excited. Thank you, guys. What a wonderful day. Um, 
I, you know, we had um, the groundbreaking of the tower a few months ago, and that day was really extraordinary. But I think today is equally as extraordinary because this program is just going to be transformational to our patients and staff.